In this video, I'll show you how you can make over a million dollars from Amazon KDP, starting with absolutely no money. What's up guys, Sean here. Welcome to my channel where we talk about self-publishing, building passive income streams and retiring early, and the many lessons and failures that I learned along the way. So if you're interested in topics like that, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to follow me along in this journey. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you can actually make over a million dollars from Amazon KDP, investing absolutely zero money at the beginning. Now, the disclaimer is that this takes time and a lot of consistent work. It's not a cheat code, it's not a get rich quick scheme. And this is only a step-by-step -step plan if you have absolutely no money to start and we're talking zero money okay this is not a theory it is possible because i've actually made over a million dollars well over a million dollars with kdp so it's definitely possible but just understand that the faster you can reinvest more money into your business to upgrade your tools upgrade your content upgrade your designs the faster you can get you know bigger results right but in the beginning for those who have no money you can get started like this for free and then you can slowly build that income reinvest it build your income more reinvest it and keep going until you can get over a million dollars and i'll show you how to do that now if you guys want to check out the video of how i became an amazon kdp millionaire i will leave a link to that in the description so a quick note before we get started is that uh generally in publishing right uh, to summarize everything very simply all you need to publish your book is the book cover and the book content. So we just need to find out how to make these two things uh, for free. So step one on how to do that is to publish no content books. So when I say no content books, we're talking about blank line journals and planners. We have absolutely no content inside. So this is an example of a no content book. If we look inside here, then you can see that the content is literally just a blank page with lines in it. So this is what we call a blank line journal. Now, if we come down to the sales rank, we see that it is at 92,994 uh, in the bestsellers rank in the bookstore. So if we come over here to the TCK publishing uh, website where we can calculate the, the sales from the BSR that we got, we can see that it makes around three sales a day, right? And at $5.99, they're making maybe $1.50 to 2 bucks per royalty. Um, so that's around 5 to $6 a day that they're making just from this one book. So 5 bucks a day, that's around 150 bucks a month. And that's from one book, right? So the idea is you want to publish as many of this book as you can. Obviously, you want to niche down and, you know, target specific audience like Christian journals in this case. But this is how you can get started for free. Because in terms of creating the book, you can actually do everything in Canva. So Canva can make the cover for you or you can actually make the cover on Canva. Uh, and you can also make the interior on Canva. So there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube on how to do this. So you just want to look up like no content publishing. And uh, there's everyone, you know, making videos. So I'm not going to go super in depth, but if you go to Canva here and then you look up something like journal, right? Or blank line journal, there's a lot of templates that you can use. And it looks very similar to the interior that we just uh, saw in, in the book, right? And obviously you want to edit this. So it's not copy pasting from a template because then it becomes an issue of duplicate content. So, you know, you want to look into that more, but that's the idea is you can make this very easily on Canva. It is free. Canva is a free tool and same as creating a design uh, in terms of the cover design. For the book cover design, you can see that there's a lot of free templates that you can start off from and then you can kind of edit that around to make it original. But that is how you can get the cover and the interior for free. Then you can just upload to Amazon. You keep repeating that process. And the goal is to get to around a couple hundred bucks a month in royalties with no content books. So once you get to say $300 to 500 bucks a month, from publishing no content that is when you want to reinvest that earning into more tools and designs and upgrading your business okay so you're going to start for free but as soon as you can you want to uh, reinvest into your business because you don't want to do everything for free free is not the best way right this is just a plan on how you 
you know, if you have no money, can get started with KDP. So step two is to create low content books. So save all your income that you made from no content books, reinvest that into better tools and designs, okay? So now you can make better books. So you're gonna start creating low content books, which has a little less competition because now there's a little bit of content. So generally speaking, the more content you put in, the harder it is to make, right? Or more expensive it is to make. And that is why there's less competition and it's often more profitable because of that. So the type of books that we're talking about are log books, uh, puzzle books, gratitude journals, and other activity books. Now, low content book examples are something like this, devotional study and prayer journal for women. So again, when we look inside, we can see that the content has a little more uh, than no content or the interior has a little more content than a no content book that we just looked at. So you can see here it's uh, a lot of text and then kind of goes into a little bit of, you know, blank line journal style uh, just with a extra quote in the end. We can also create books like this. This is more of a puzzle book. So this is a Sudoku book. There's also word searches, uh, crossword puzzles, those kind of things. And if we look inside here, you can see that the, the content is just Sudoku puzzles uh, one after another with a answer in the back. In terms of how well these books sell, uh, it's pretty insane because this one you can see it has 50 ratings, so only 50 reviews and it's at 935 in the bookstore. By the way, when it says independently published, that means this person is not going through like a, a traditional or publishing house. They are a self-publisher just like me and you doing the same thing. So that shows that it's possible that we can do the same thing as well. So 935 in the bookstore at 599, that is absolutely insane. If we come back here, 935 in the bookstore. So that's 154 sales a day. So let's just say conservatively, right? This person is making a dollar per sale. I think it's a little more than that, but let's say it's just $1. So that is 154 bucks every single day, which means they're making around uh, $4,500, $4,500 every single month just from this one book. Now, in terms of how do you make these kind of books? Well, I actually found a Fiverr gig that looks pretty good, has great rating, and they will make one uh, book cover design and a book interior. So you're gonna get both interior and cover uh, for your low content business. So you can literally pay this person and make the book for you. Now, if you're gonna do this, just a quick tip is make sure they're not using a template, right? Make sure it's original because if you're gonna use a template, it's gonna be a little sketchy. You know, you could uh, get your book blocked. Uh, but in terms of outsourcing, you can pay 20 bucks and do that. Or there is a software, I'll leave a link uh, below this video called BookBolt. Now inside BookBolt, you can see that this is a uh, keyword research tool, but you can also create no content and uh, low content books in the creating side of the, the tool as well. And one of the tool that is inside this is called PuzzleWiz. And with PuzzleWiz, you can see you can literally create Sudoku, Nurikabe, Crossword, Word Search, all the activity books or puzzle books that we just talked about. You can come here and create it with this software. Now it is a monthly subscription, but it is very, very cheap. And again, once you start making money, you want to reinvest into better tools so you can make better books and make more money, right? So you always want to reinvest back into the business and it's an investment. It's not an expense. Uh, that is how you want to view uh, everything you do in your business. So again, the link is below this video and that brings me to step number three. So once you start making more money with low content books, which with low content books, you know, you can get to five to $10,000 a month or more. And there's uh, many people that does more than 10 K a month. So if you just want like a, you know, six figure income, uh, you can definitely do that with low content. It is just that from my experience, a lot of people struggle to scale past that $5,000 a month mark with low content. And that is why I think high content is better to go beyond 5k a month because it's much easier to build a brand and, uh, scale your business to 10k 20k 30k 40k a month and much more um, so again reinvest everything you made into making more books better content designs covers and tools um, so again to scale past 10k a month i recommend you start publishing high content books because it is easier to build a brand command a higher price 
and sell your books in other formats like Kindles and audiobooks. So this is something people don't talk about too, is with low content, you can only publish your book in paperback. So if it doesn't do well in paperback, that is it. But with high content books, you can publish on Kindle. So if it doesn't do well on one format, it can do well on another format. You can also publish on audio. You can also publish Ingram Spark, uh, draft to digital, different stores, right? So there's a lot of opportunities to make money, a lot of diversification that you can do from high content books. So this is an example of a high content book. High content is basically just a normal nonfiction or fiction books that you see in bookstores. So that is uh, what I'm talking about when I say high content book. So if you look inside, again, it's just a normal nonfiction book uh, in this case. So if we look at the, uh, the sales rank with the tool Bookbeam, um, link in description if you guys want to check it out, you can see that the estimated royalty per day and per day, we're talking about a couple hundred. So we're talking $300 to $400 for this book, um, $200 a day for this book. So again, you can build a brand much easily uh, from my experience with high content. And this person is easily doing, you know, a couple thousand just from Kindle. And then this is just with Kindle, right? Uh, you can do paperback, audiobooks. You know, you look at their sales rank and, you know, he's doing probably multiple six figures um, from his books. So, in terms of how to make high content books, again, you need the cover and the interior. So the interior, you can use uh, ghostwriting companies such as the Urban Writers. They can write the book for you. Uh, the link and the coupon code is below this video. And uh, for the cover, you wanna use someone like 99designs because you know it's a very professional service. It is the best in terms of getting a high quality book cover that you want and uh, so that you can stand out among your competitions. So again, with high content books, you can scale to the moon. Many people do $30,000 a month or more up to even $100,000 a month um, or more, right? The more content the book has, again, the harder it is to make those kind of books and the harder it is to make those books, the less competition and higher potential to make money. So this is my personal results with high content books. I mainly do high content. 99% of my books are high content. And you can see that uh, you can go and check it out as well because I have a whole playlist on income reports on my YouTube channel. But basically I've been, you know, posting income reports and uh, showing you how I'm making over $30,000 a month from publishing high content books. Now, step four is to build until you're making $15,000 to $20,000 a month profit. Okay, so we're talking profit here. So keep publishing and keep building your portfolio until you're over 20K a month profit. Now, at this point, right, to get to this point, you probably have been publishing for a few years. So it's, you know, you can do it faster. It's just very rare. You have to really know what you're doing from the beginning, right? So you most likely have been publishing for a few years and you had a couple years of earning over six figures uh, by doing so. Now, step five, which is the last step, right, is to sell your KDP business. So now that you're doing over 20K a month profit, and you can sell your KDP business for 35 to 45 X of your monthly profit, which means 35 to 45 X of your 20 K a month uh, profit. That means at 40 X, right? As an average, if you're making $20,000 a month at 40 X, you can sell your business for $800,000. And that is exactly what I did recently. So you can see that I recently sold my KDP business for $820,000. So if you do all of this, that means you had a few years of earning six figures, right? From actually publishing and actually uh, from your book royalties. Plus you sold your business and you got a good chunk of income coming in from there. Combine that and you'll be making more than a million dollars, which is exactly what I did total from your KDP business. So if you follow this five steps, if you work hard for a couple of years, and again, I'm not saying this is, easy, right? Again, you have to work hard just like any other business, but I really think KDP is one of the best business for beginners to get started because you can do it for free or you can do it extremely cheap in the beginning. Um, so work hard for a couple years and you will go from absolutely no money at all to over a million dollars earned from KDP. This is a blueprint. This is exactly how you do it in terms of progression. So again, this is just a example scenario, but like I told you, I've personally done it myself. So I know that it's very possible. So that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to know more about how I 
built my KDP business exactly step by step. Uh, I will be teaching you every single strategies that I used in my publishing business. I do have a complete Amazon KDP course that you can check it out. The link is below this video, as well as all the tools and resources that I recommend uh, also in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, comment any questions you have. I try to answer most comments. Um, this for the first couple days of the video being live. So make sure to comment any questions or suggestions. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.